today I'm finally gonna be trying out this hair paint wax I ordered this in January and then I just haven't used it because I was waiting for like a moment when I was gonna be doing something exciting and I could have cool hair and then I never did it because if I wait for a day when I'm doing something exciting if it turns out bad then I'm not gonna want to go anymore so I vetoed it every time I was waiting to use it and so I came to the conclusion that there's never gonna be a right time especially right now in a pandemic like I'm not going anywhere so I might as well try it out now when I'm not doing anything figure out the right way to use it so then when I actually and excited to go somewhere I can know how it's going to look better idea right okay so like I said I bought this in January I purchased it on January 10th and then it went out for shipping on the 13th and it arrived on the 16th it was $9.99 and $5 for shipping and they only had one shipping option I did some research on this product so I looked on their Instagram and they showed a video of this girl taking it out with just using water and that concerns me because if you're caught in the rain or if you sweat a lot is it just going to come out on your clothes like i really want to know if it does come out with just water because that's probably not the greatest thing but interested because then i mean it does come out easily which is a pro but if you get caught in the rain are you going to get color all over you con so i want to test that out and then i've seen it used two different ways like normally i see it traditionally used as like a wash and go so i'm going to try that out today and then i also want to try it again as a three strand twist out because i saw a video of a girl who added it at the end after she did a twist the twist in her hair and then when she took it out it came out like a highlighted effect which i thought looked really good so i'm going to try that out as well um i was kind of concerned to try it out now because i bought it so long ago but it does say the expiration date is 5 28 22 so it should still be good and i'm hoping for the best so i think what i'm going to do first is rake this product through my hair and then go back in a second time and break this through my hair i watched videos like i said but those were like back in january i'm not gonna watch them again so i'm kind of winging it right now in here than I expected to be in here. I thought it was gonna be like halfway filled, you know, like how chips are. So I'm kind of surprised at how much is in there. But there's kind of a little dent right there, so that might just be a facade. I'm actually honestly really interested to see what color it comes out as because it's different on each person because of whatever color you, hair you start with. And I hope it turns out to be rose gold because I've seen some and theirs was rose gold and it looked so pretty. So fingers crossed for the rose gold. Okay, so I've noticed that it has kind of a perfumey, like old lady perfume type of scent, which I don't love, but that's okay. Hopefully it'll go away. I just wanted to note that, because to me right now that's a con. I don't love that scent. my hands and it doesn't appear to have stained my hands so that's a pro we like that about it but again i don't really love this the perfumey scent of it but on another note i'm kind of hoping that it dries fast my hair takes forever to dry in general so even if it does take forever it's not really its fault but i'm hoping it dries fast because it kind of already feels a little dry so this is how my hair turned out it did end up kind of turning out kind of rose gold, so that's good. It doesn't transfer onto my hands when I like touch it, so once it dries, it doesn't come off. And then also the perfume smell kind of goes away. I did smell it when the wind blew my hair, but otherwise I don't smell it anymore. Okay, so update from my kitchen. It does come out with just water, that is correct. I'm not sure that it would actually come out in the rain though, because I did have to like run my hands through it to get the product to come out, so you might be safe in the rain. We 
get closer so you can see. It is very splotchy. And I mean, I probably should have considered that it was gonna look like this. I thought it was gonna look like highlights, but it didn't. I don't know. I guess maybe the video I saw, maybe the person did braids and maybe that's why it was, it came out a lot better. I have no idea. And also, it came off on my hands, even though like when I did the wash and go, when it was dry, it didn't come off. And my hair is dry and it is coming off. So all around, I the technique I used just sucked. But it's gonna look like this for the rest of the day and it is what it is. I mean, it's a look, it's just not the look that I was going for. It looks so bad, honestly. I guess what I should have done was put the color in and then twisted my hair. And I might try that. going to three strand twist our hair and put the color wax in you should put the color wax in before you twist the hair i really like the results it turned out really nicely the only thing is some of the pieces are still wet so i don't want to keep pulling them apart too much you can tell because like the color's coming off like some of them are still wet and i'm wearing this white shirt which is kind of probably not the best idea but it does wash out any of the clothes that i've been wearing that i use this with when i wash them the color came out i'm not so sure about the white though That's Okay, so I'm just gonna conclude this video. I changed my shirt because the other one looks really trippy on camera and it was annoying to look at. So anyways, basically, I really did like the product. I would use it again. I'm actually gonna buy it for my mom and my sister so they can try it out because my sister's a doctor and it's really fun to just like, you know, when you're not working, play around with color since you still wanna look professional. Or if you go to private school, I went to private school, I don't know. We weren't allowed to dye our hair. It was distracting and it was not allowed. So, but I think public school, you can have colored hair and be fun and be an individual but in private school they don't want you to be an individual so it's a good concept so that if you want to have fun on the weekend it rinses out you can go back to school and not have a problem not get in school suspension for dyeing your hair um i just wanted to note that it dried my hair quicker when i did the wash and go it didn't affect the drying time when i did the twist outs but it did dry faster in the wash and go so just wanted to mention that also i don't think it would come out in the rain even though my results were inconclusive and it does actually come out with just water but you do have to like massage it work it out judge it up to get the product out and that is it basically i do like the product would try it again i might try a different brand because it seems like everybody makes paint wax now and it's probably easier to find if i used a different brand because i saw it they sell it at walmart i don't know if they actually sell it in stores or if you have to buy it online because i don't actually go to walmart but that's an option so i think all of them will probably work the same i don't really know how it would be much different but Oh, also the perfumey smell. I didn't really notice it much after the first day. So I don't know if I was being very dramatic when I used it or if it's because I actually like sat there with my wet hair waiting for it to dry as opposed to the other ones that kind of like put it in a bonnet. So I don't know, maybe, I don't know. But I just thought I would bring that up again because I forgot to mention it. Okay, bye.